בוקר טוב, everybody, good morning, everybody. <coughs> There is the morning, סוגיות. We're gonna open the, the book of Rashid Chochma. And uh, in the book of Rashid Chochma, Shar uh, Ava, the gate of, of love, and in the gate of life is in the Perek Shmini. in the eight, uh, eight perek, eight section of Sharaba. And when we talk about love, of course, the, the Sharaba, the gate of love, we're not just talking about, um, you know, what I like, what I love. We're talking about something deeper. So let's, let's understand Ahava. Let's understand love. It's saying that the tikkunes are, tikkunes are, okay? Zohar Kadash, he say, תיקוני זוהר חדש קב א' ואמר שם שהשכינה כל ששת ימי החולת אז למה אין אדם במקום לא מקום. It say that the שכינה, the שכינה is the female aspect of God or the collective הניצוצות that exists in this world because שכינה שח ניצוצות שח כף ינה נא so 65 is the vessel. Um, so the שכינה which is the receiving aspect of the creator or the creation, is looking uh, from place to place uh, for a tzaddik, for a righteous person, doing, doing six days of the week. Who is this righteous that she looking for? Is she looking for a person that have midot? Or is the Ashkenazi say midas? Okay? Have midot. טובות, that have a good, good behavior change, a good transformation, a good habit, if you wish. וזה לשונם. This is coming from תיקוני הזוהר. ומי הוא הצדיק שהיא נדבקת בו? Who is this righteous that she's looking for? שהוא כולל מכל, מכל, כולל הכל, דורש ויחולו מלשון כלל. It's like the word ויחולו, in, uh, we say in Shabbat, or what's saying בראשית, it's been, it's include everything, from the word כלי, from the word כלי, כלי מין vessels. So everything is included from everything. שכל הספירות בו נכללו. That that person has within him all the ספירות. What does that mean? שהוא חסיד. He's a חסיד. חסיד doesn't mean the שטרימל or the close. חסיד means kindness. He's a kind person. וגם הוא נכנס את המשכינה. Because he's kind, he's very nice back to the שכינה. נותן לה כוח בגבורה. He gives the שכינה a power with גבורה. Left column now with it חסד. חסיד, גבורה, with power, he give her power. וכך הוא בכל ספירה וזה נותן לה כוח, בו והיא, ובו היא נדבקת ונה זזה ממנו, כל שבת שבת. So because that person give her חסדים, give her גבורות, the שכינה doesn't live him alone, uh, the whole week. בעבורו נאמר, היא מכסה עליו בכנפיה, מגנה עליו, וכולם בקטרין יש עבודם. And because of that, the שכינה is cover, uh, spread her wings wide. and cover on, on that individual, on that tzaddik. So this is one thing about midot, like how a person need to behave to get the shechina dwell on him. But now he's talking about something else. In Tikkun HaZohar, he says, B'inyan Esek HaTorah. B'inyan Esek HaTorah ליחד השכינה נבער בתיקונים. זה לשונם. Now we're going to explain, there is another way, there is another way how Uh, a person can connect to the Shechina, and this is true, the study of Torah. Let's understand. בתוך כך, הנה ראיה ממנה. משה רבנו, או ראיה ממנה, ראיה מן the shepherd, ממנה the faithful, the faithful shepherd, בא לקח את המקלע בידו, התחיל ואמר. So he said that, uh, that he took, within his hand, you know, the the sling, sling shot and uh, with three stone שלוש אבנים וזרק אותם כלפי מעלה and he shoot them up כשזרק אותם נעשו אבן אחת they become one of course we are not talking about like miracle making or we are not talking about also uh, but real stone of course everything is a code let's understand it what does that mean 
אמר לראשי הישיבות, קבלו האבן הזאת אצלכם, שערי שכינה היא בגלות. So he, he, he told, he told uh, to the master of ישיבה, not here, the, the spiritual ישיבות in heaven, he said take, take this stone, okay, take this stone, because this is a שכינה, okay, I think he mean the פסוק אבן מעשו הבונים. זכר שהרי השכינה היא בגלות ואין בכם מי שעורר אותה לארץ אותה אצל בעלה. זה שכינה, after the temple been destroyed, the שכינה is no longer in a place where you should, should be. She's wandering around like a person with no home, like a beggar. And every time somebody has midot, she's jumping on him. Or every time somebody studied Torah in the right way, she's jumping on him. For that reason, he sent that stone to all the people who study or teach Torah, לארץ אותה אצל בעלה. So she will be accepted by her husband. What is her husband? Yudke Vavke, Zeher Anpin, Kut Shabarichu. Tzorakim b'chol yom v'alayla b'torah shebaal pe b'kama kushiot tzorakim b'al keklavim. So it's a, this is a tough section for those of you who study Torah. It's a, that many people study Torah. And many people who study Torah study the Pshat, study the simple part of the Torah. It's called kushiot. It's called like the Talmud. So say many of the students, screaming with the excitement with the, and they scream about the Talmud and they scream about the Mishnah they scream about that like dogs kind of shocking what the Kodaz are saying about people study Torah doesn't make sense right what is a dog does a dog basically bark and the way he bark is not the only section that they bring it it's called Hav 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 is the sound, but av av mean give me, give me. Ten ten, give me, give me. Kmo geenom, like in hell. Tell lanu osher, give us money, ba'olam azeh, in this world. Tell lanu osher, ba'olam abba, give us to be famous and rich in the olam abba, in the next world. Kmo shibidu, pein bishi azuk ba Torah lalot ba et ha-shchina. But nobody really studied Torah to elevate the shchina itself. Nobody. Nobody actually do that. It's a koev, it's a hurt fault, right? I mean, people already study Torah, people already study Kabbalah, people study everything, people do study Kabbalah, people do all the good things. But still, it's not help, the study of Torah doesn't help the Shekhinah to elevate. Hopefully, this short study we're doing together, I'm sure we have a lot of hav-hav in our consciousness, but still, we have to think about how to elevate the Shekhinah. Our mission is in the study is to connect the Shekhinah with our husband. שהם אטומי עיניים, those people who study like that, their eyes are closed, אטומי לב, no heart is closed, ולכן כל יוצא בכל לילה, כל פעם הוא יורד בגן עדן, that's why the voice come out in the garden of Eden every night, שעולות על נשמות לפניו, when people go to sleep and the soul go in front of God, וכל ההוא אומר, לך ואומר להם שיעסקו בתורה, כדי לחבר השכינה, And the voice of Hashem, voice of God said, please, you already studied Torah, so just make sure you study for the right reason, don't study it for the wrong reason. What is the wrong reason? When you pray, or when you teach, or when you study, for the sake of yourself. You know, even if you do a mitzvah of, of Limud Torah, for the sake of uh, getting it, that you are going to have Olam Abba, that you're going to have the next one to come, still, that type of expectation will push away the Shekhinah from the Creator, to connect the Shekhinah with the Lord. Like David, like King David. What is King David did? What made King David so special? You know, what made King David so special? King David was capable, when he study, when he teach, when he write, is to be busy how to connect our mother, the Shekhinah, with her father, with our father, Yud Kevavke. It's a very important thing to understand that King David was happy all the time. Somebody who's not happy is lack of emunah, lack of faith. Somebody, somebody who is happy, it's a show of certainty. And that's how you know. You know, when you pray, are you very excited? Or you're one of those people who's sitting there miserable, give me money, I don't have money, I don't have soulmate, I don't have this, I'm not feeling well. When you pray like that, That's not thinking about the Shekhinah. It's thinking about yourself. When you think about yourself, Moshe Rabbeinu himself, Raya Me'emna, the faithful shepherd, is saying this. Shekhinah mitzad ha'chesed nikret 
מצד הגבורה נקראת, מצד עמוד האמצעי נקראת. What is the שכינה? She have all what there and been as, which is the ספירות. Why she is in galut? Why she is in exit? Because of us. Because we misbehave and we are her children. What the שכינה does? She go out from her husband's house, from the palace, from the king's house, from the, uh, the all luxurious life that she can have by staying with you, and she go and be with us. She go and be with us. You want to know what love is, right? So for that reason, all the sefirot, if it's chesed, if it's gvura, if it's tiferet, we need to behave, as in the book Tomar Dvora, we need to behave. <coughs> according to those ספירות. And כמה מצאי תורה נקראתו, ואין מי שעורר אותה במידות אלו, אצל שאינם שעוסקים אלא לזרוח בשר, ולהם עמי הארץ. There is many people who study תורה. And as the מחבר of this book, the writer of the book, שתקומה רבי אליהו דוד אש, you know, in his time, everybody study תורה. They were not dealing with people who not study at all. They were dealing with people who study for the wrong reason. It's almost like depressing, you know, because they study and they say, You want to know how they look at them? Like they sacrifice meat all the time. Those are the ones who are un- unalphabetic. I mean, how can you call people to study Torah every day? You go to Yeshiva every day, unalphabet. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense because what's the reason they do that? ובתורה אינו מסכים אל הרגל עצמו, בעבור המצווי תאף עוד תיקון הזה עושה, and the one already doing good things, they give charity and give wonderful thing, they do it for themselves, only for themselves, וכל אלה שאינם מסכים בה, לשמה, רוח הקודש, שהיא שכינה אינה שורה להם, then the רוח הקודש, the Holy Spirit, and, uh, and uh, uh, the all idea of knowing the future, you know, kind of a psychic feeling, will, will not happen for them, of course you cannot do it for that reason too, If you said, oh, now I'm going to study Lishma, I'm studying for the right reason, and now I'm going to be a psychic. So that's for yourself again. The main idea of the study is for the Shekhinah, is to connect the Shekhinah with Yud Kevavke. So now we understand how important to A person cannot study Torah for the sake of themselves. Not to be wise, not to be spiritual, not to be tzaddik. All is going on in the world. Don't look for what you want to receive in the world in the next world. If you want to know what anger comes to the world, what anger comes to that life, to that person, uh, personal life, is ram, ram in anger. And she says about people like this, all their kindness is ketzitza sadeh. It's like the waste that come out of the vegetables or the waste to come out of, of the of the tvua, of the wheat or barley. Like it's written, the one who do good things or study Torah just for themselves. If you want to know who you are, look at your ishtadlut. Look at the effort you're making. Shikare ben velo eved. That they call you son. And they don't call you slave, because there is two levels, as the Kunazo mentioned, of a person when they study, when they behave spiritually, if they act like a boy, like the, 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 the son or the daughter of the king, or they act like a servant. Because the son, when he behaves with his father, he doesn't look to get something. He's already have something. He lives in the palace of his father. He has everything. So what is he doing thing for his father or for his mother? Because it's nice, it's kind of him. And people who are worship spirituality to get a reward, even if not physical reward, of course for physical reward, when they think to get a reward in the upper world, that's a punishment. And then in the Tikkunah, and in the again, Amud Ayim Kimel, Amud Bet, it's the same. ויראה ואהבה על בנת כבד עצרי, איש יפחה. The one who's have יראה, have an awe or fear, like we studied last week, or love, and he said, oh, I study, that if I fear and awe and love toward the Shekhinah, toward God, toward God, I'm receiving a word, a word for that. Okay? 
We call it shifra. We call it shifra. Shifra is the maid. May, why do we call it maid? It's, it seems like there is something wrong with maid. Well, there is a different. Somebody live in your house or somebody come to clean your house. Very, very different. So the person who is thinking what he's going to get, he drop himself or herself so low down. And we know in Mishle, in Mishle by Shlomo Amelech, what is it written? There is three things why there is earthquake or three things why there is mess in the world or three things why there is chaos in the world. That's what Mishle said in King Solomon. For slave who tried to be a king, a maid who tried to push the queen away and take her place. That's what the Tikkunim, Tikkunim Zohar, all the Tikkunim Yudalet, Tikkunim Yudalet Abud Bet, Tikkunim in page 14. Bechiyuva Torah Shebaal Peli Yachet Zele Shonam. That's what they say about the importance of uh, people who study uh, oral Torah. Zakayin in Rundi Mishleim Bishchinta. Married are the people who are making an effort to study uh, uh, for the sake of the Shekhinah, for the sake of the female aspect of God. Because when they study Alakha and they study with the Kushiyot, they study with the difficult, the disagreement between the two students, they have to think, what is the disagreement? The Klipot, like the Ari said, Rabbi Chaim Bital teach, the Klipot. And when you are finding the Teirots, when you find the meaning, the of what the kushia is about, you know, and you find the answer, that's how you get your mother out of the exile. Like it say in Isaiah, Ishayahu, Opeposhechem, Shulchaimachem, your mother is not with me, your mother is not with you because of your crime. And our job is to get out. To get her out of the exile and bring her to her husband so he can receive her with his arm. Because who is the queen? She's the second level of the king. And she's control all the exile. Okay? She's she's a very important person. But for for that reason, to manifest all that, okay. Uh, we need to study Torah for the right reason. We need to be more happy. Cannot, uh, how do you know if a person is studying for the right reason? How happy they are. If they're miserable, that means they think about themselves. And here it's a, something very important. It's a, uh, instead of the queen, somebody who replaces her sitting with him. So, we have Avshel Moshe, but in Moses' time, the, the maid was not control anything. Ela Amalka. The queen, the queen was ruling. And after Moses died, then Yahushua continued continue that, uh, that tradition. So, I'm not sure I understand that correct, <coughs> because it seemed like after Moses, it was no longer uh, the Shrina, the Shrina um, it was ruling. I don't want to speak bad about Yoshua, but that's what I seem to understand. And for study the Torah, it's Tavino Parashat. How do we study the Torah? The after. We say the after. The after. You should love. How do you love? How do you love? Like the biggest question is, how can I find love, right? Everybody's busy finding love. But nobody think, how can I love? I want to love a person. When you have no soulmate, do you pray to love or do you pray to be loved? When you have an issue in your relationship, do you pray to love or do you pray to be loved? Where, where you come from, the whole system has to change. And when we change that, I mean, that's the old Torah, is whatever I do, it cannot be for my, myself alone. It cannot be just for me. You know, it cannot be just for me. If you want to do it really perfectly right, it should be only for the Shekinah. How do we know that? When we look at Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai in Tikkun what did he do? He went and he suffered to reveal 
the biggest secret of the Torah, Tikkun Ezor, the biggest secret of the Torah. Why did he have to suffer? Because he want to make sure, Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Lazar, to make sure nothing gives them pleasure about it. Now that's a Torah. So when you touch Tikkun Ezor, when you read or study Tikkun Ezor, you have the purity of study that has nothing touch with selfishness. And for that reason, spreading Tikkun Ezor, reading Tikkun Ezor, understanding Tikkun Ezor, is the only way to bring back the Shekhinah back to Kadush Baruch We know that. Now why specifically the Tikkun Ezor? Because Rabbi Shimon Rabbi Lazar already suffered for us 13 years in a cave, 13 years under the ground. Now also Shira Shirim, song from Shlomo Melech. Now you know why we sing it just before Friday. What happened on Friday? The Shekhinah on Friday, from Friday night till Saturday night, allowed to be with her husband. That's when they are together. That's what they're actually together. So during the week, they're not. The week, during Friday till Saturday night, they're together. For that reason, when you read Shira Shirim, you're kind of welcome the Shekhinah. Back, back to Shabbat. So we know now how to behave. You no, know, King David, for example, King David, when he wrote Tilim, how did he wrote Tilim, the book of Psalm? He was always running away from King Saul, who tried to kill him. Now that's to a the Shekhinah. So when we do Torah, when we do mitzvot, when we do charity, when we do something, you gotta include the Shekhinah in everything. That's why it's called Tzedakah, Tzedek A. Last is a teruma, tarum a. Everything has the letter a in the end. The a in the end, that's the shechina. That's the shechina. That's the Adonai. That's the a of Yud Kevavke. That's the nukva of Zeran Pin. That's what the shechina is. And for that reason, you want to be happy. You want to feel safe. You want to feel content. You want to feel relaxed. You want to feel all of those feelings. Let it go. Don't focus on that. Focus on how do I make the Shekhinah my mother feel good. You cannot think about how do I remove my panic attack. You cannot think about how do I remove my fear. How do I change? Hey, I want to change. No, 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 no. As Tikkun Azar said, Mechasa alav beknafea. Let the Shekhinah take care of that business. You take care of your mother. Trust me. When you take care of your mother, she knows what she's doing. But if you expect her to do it, then you already disconnect again. You have to do it for the Shekhinah. You want to finish the exile. Make sure the Shekhinah finish her exile. She is in exile more than you and me. So that means that the person, the mitzvah, that is Rabbi Liao David Dash, of studying the Torah, okay, has to be from love. What is love? Don't think about yourself. Arish you alibo. פירוש שיהיה עוסק בהם מלב ונפש ושנתון בניך. פירושו רבנו לזה רבי רמי במסכת קידושין. יצא עם קידושין. אומר לזה שנתם. שיהיו דברי תורה משולנים בפיך. The דברי תורה, the word of Torah will be always on your mouth. ואמר אחר כך ודיברת בם. And you will talk like that. פירושו רבנו לזה רבי רמי ברכה ביומה. In the Talmud of יומה. עמוד י"ט עמוד ב'. ודיברת בם, עשה אותם קבע. אורית בן דיברת בם, make the דברי תורה regular things in your life. בשבתך ובתך ובתך ובתך, when you sit in your house, this is the, the old first section of שמע ישראל. בשבתך ובתך, when you sit in your house, when you walk in the way, when you go to sleep, when you wake up. So there is four time to study תורה. So you will not be empty from Torah even one hour. או כמו שהתורה היא עץ חיים, because the Torah is the tree of life. And he carried the good. That's the main point of spirituality. Lidabek b'chaim alionim to connect, to cleave to the upper life. Bo shabiranu be parashat vayet chanan. Okay? Zohar, parashat vayet chanan. The only advice that human being has is to study Torah days and night and not to leave it. And whoever leave it is almost he vayle b'anda tamina deoraita. Woe for those, those people who, who, who uh, disconnect from the Torah. Or it parash mina. Kilo ad if it parash min chayat kan lechono. It's almost like they unplug themselves from the machine of life. The gamal idea also with Torah shkina mitechedet lemala. So when a person study Torah, the shkina go in the upper world. But idea it orer a yichud. Through that, the yichud, the connection happened. Ve'avav ben alem ben kutsha barichu. 
Then you wake up a love between the hair and God. We have to do more of those things. It's not fun to wake up early morning, right? But that's that show you don't do it for you. If it's fun, you don't do it for you. So that's we have to do it more often because waking up at 4 30, go to Bikve, come back, prepare. No, not not exactly thing. Now, do I have joy in it? I do. Uh, for spiritual reason, for different reasons. So I gotta work on myself that I cannot think what's the benefit for me spiritually or physically. So it's a kind of uh, important thing to, to understand the idea of love, the idea of the Shekhinah. Now, think about it in a different note. I was aware that when people pray for something important, they cry. When people pray for something, it's important for them, they get sad. And the point of that is what we got to do. I mean, after all, the Talmud said, uh, all the gates are closed after the temple being destroyed because of the Shekhinah is not there. That one gate is not closed, it's the gate of tears. And what people are doing right now, they cry. Rabbi Chaim Vital say in the name of the Ari, whoever doesn't cry in Rosh Hashanah, Siman Sheno Agun. It means something wrong with that person. So now everybody crying. Are we the show business? The cry is not the cry of sadness. It's the cry of joy. Those are the tears that open the gate of heaven, guys. The gate, what is the happiness? Happiness means that you know. You know it's going to be okay. So now think about the Shekhinah. The Shekhinah came to the show. They told her that there is one million spiritual people who pray well, study well, behave well. And those one million people, because they know what to do, and because they read and study, they can bring the Shekhinah back to her husband. Nothing can be better than that, right? What can be better than that? Nothing. So the Shekhinah come to that party. Because at that party, that's a wedding party. What is in the wedding party? A one million people taking you back to your husband through the study of Torah, to the prayer, to everything. What a party. And she arrived to the party. She see everybody busy with a book and crying. Oh, God, please give me money. Oh, I need children. Oh, I need to get married. <laughs> and they cry. Is that a way to treat our Shekhinah? Oh, we pray. We are so happy that it was giving to us ability to bring our mother with our father. So a sign of a person pray for the Shekhinah is happiness. And I know sometimes we are not in the mood to smile. Me too. I'm with you on that. It's not easy. That's the hardest work. The hardest work of spirituality is to be happy as you're doing the spiritual work, to be happy as you study, to be happy as you pray. We traditionally, when we pray, we, we feel sadness and concentration on the sadness, make it happen. I saw a chassid who pray very strong. His whole body move and his whole body shake. And he's like putting his shoulders down and he does like that. Not my place to judge that chassid. Not my place to judge. But I couldn't help myself by looking at it. And I ask, what happened? I mean, you pray. It's very powerful. And he answered, well, there is a lot of things in my life that need to be changed. I like it. And I said, well, maybe I should tell him to look at that section that you cannot pray for the thing you need. If you would do this, the chassid, and he say, I'm praying because I feel that the Shekhinah, the female aspect of God, is kind of away from Yud Kevavke, away from Tachigamet, and away from Kut away from the Zeran Bin. And that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So you can become sad about that the Shekhinah is not with the husband. You cannot become sad because you don't have money. You cannot become sad because you don't have children. You cannot become sad because you're not married. You cannot. Because the saddest moment in a human life is to realize that the Shekhinah is alone. That's how you know. So hopefully this morning when you pray or next time you study, you do it with excitement, you do it with the dance.
It is with dance. When you meet people, men or women, you understand that those are the children of the Shekhinah. So how beautiful they are. And how easy to go make them happy. How can I make them happy? Chase them to make them happy. I don't believe in make them happy. Chase them to make them happy. I'm going to go now to pray and I want to wish you a wonderful day. Make sure today, focus. Whatever you eat, whenever you drink water, look at the water before you give the blessing. Look at the water. Say, I'm doing it with the happiness. Because I know that through that, my Shekhinah will come closer to her husband. I'm eating today. I know through that. So now you dance. Now you're happy for the right reason. Thank you for waking up this early morning and for listening. I appreciate it. Thank you.